Hey guys, Moan Pober here and today I'm going to talk about how to save money. Let's get to it. So hey, my name is Moan Pober and if you're new to this channel, I'm here to share with you my experience in business. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses, 7 figure businesses. I'm here to share with you my lessons, my mistakes, things that worked, things that didn't work. And I'm also here to share with you, I guess, two different ways to grow a business. So the main ways the way that basically everyone out there is teaching which is to grow organically by doing more sales more marketing and cutting expenses and i'm here to open your eyes that you can also grow a business by acquisitions to go out there and buy your competitors buy other companies and you don't need millions of dollars in the bank which most people think because you can use the acquisition target assets as a leverage to pay for that business so that's what this channel is all about and we just picking a few different topics and bringing it back to the main ones which is how can we grow a business and uh, make good money, impact a lot of people and yeah, just live a great lifestyle as well. So if you're new to this channel, like, subscribe, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. I promise you won't regret it and see the link in the description below. It's uh, moanpober.com forward slash quiz to see basically all the options to get some more free value from me based on where you are in your journey in business. So that's for the introduction. Now, now let's get to today's topic. So how do you save money? Do you need to even save money? Is it important? Some people will tell you, hey, save a lot of money because the more money you save, the more money you can then use to go out there and invest and, and do whatever you want. Other people will tell you, hey, don't save money, but go out there and, in, and basically use every dollar that you have to try and grow your revenue. So what, what is the right way to go here? Uh, there are a few different ways to go through. I want to, I guess, give you all the perspectives so you basically pick whatever works for you. Uh, but to begin with, how do you save money, right? So many people will tell you, hey, you need to use apps on your phone and you need to pay yourself first. And there's all those different strategies to save more money. Some people will tell you that you need to basically split every dollar that you get into jars. One of them is for uh, bills. One of them is for investments. One of them is for charity. One of them is for um, your, your dreams or basically some lifestyle dreams that you have. So, so many different opportunities. There are other people who will tell you, hey, you should go minimalist and basically get rid of all of your stuff and don't even pay for the gym because you need to work out at home, at home to save those few bucks every year. And, and there's literally a movement for that, to people that want to retire fast. Uh, is it really worth it? I don't know if you're going to retire. I mean, for people who basically have jobs that they hate and they don't even know about the option to start a business or buy a business, then maybe saving half of their money for a few years in order to then be able to retire from those jobs, maybe it's worth it, but they can't really live from, in my opinion, enough money to sustain a good lifestyle. I mean, if you need to basically stop buying uh, coffees in, uh, coffee in, in Starbucks or stop paying for the gym, is it really worth it? Life is so short. Do we really need to hold back ourselves from all those little, sometimes not important things, but just cool things? I mean, going to the gym versus working out at home, I don't know, it's just like those small little things that, in my opinion, make lives better. So for me, at least, I don't want to get rid of them. I want to find ways to have them, but still have financial freedom. So what are the ways to do that? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not completely against that attitude of saving money and basically removing as many expenses as you can, because there are many people in life, so there's basically two opposites, right? One of them is people who just spend every dollar that they get, without even thinking. And they're spending it on basically liabilities. If you read Rich Dad Poor Dad, there's liabilities and assets. Liabilities is basically just going out there and buying things that are not going to make you money or basically are not going to be added in value over the years. The other attitude is for people who save maybe too much, in my opinion, and maybe forget that their life is short, that they need to live life. So for me, at least, I want to find the balance. How do I build my financial freedom? while still, uh, I guess, not acting like an idiot, right? So I think there are many things that you bought in your life that you know that you don't really need. You, you don't, you literally bought it because some kind of an emotional impulse. And that's what we want to avoid. In, in, in general, to save money and to live a better financial life, I think it's very important, especially in your personal life, whatever, if you have a business, whatever income you take from that business or dividends in the end of the year, I think it's really important to be smart on what you're doing with that money because, uh, I mean, it's it just stupid to go out there and waste because I don't care how much money you have, you will find ways to spend that money if you really want. Like, look at Mike Tyson, I think his net worth was like 500 million and he bankrupt. 
so you can because he bought like tigers and stuff right so you can always find ways to spend your money on so you need to be smart with the money that you get and don't get me wrong like just be smart and literally just ask yourself logic questions like do i really need that like why do i want to buy that is it really helping me live a better lifestyle or is it just me trying to compensate on a lack of i guess feeling inside that i'm enough if that makes sense so if you're going out there and just buy any random stuff that they buy, like like expensive clothes for example i don't understand that i don't care to be honest um all the having nice suits and stuff like that for meetings i used to think that in the past right now I really don't care about what I wear. I think that the simple you keep it uh, and comfortable you keep it, that's the most important. Like wh whoever you meet, I don't care if you meet a billionaire, as long as you're comfortable with who you are, they don't care about wh wh how the fuck you wear. It's actually the opposite. If you put a three-piece suit, but you don't feel comfortable with it, they will see that you put in an act, that you put in basically a front and you're not being honest with them. So those are things that personally I don't think really worth it. I mean, yes, it's nice to have like a nice expen expensive watch maybe, which I do, um, or, or just like few simple things that's just gonna make you maybe, uh, it, for me, it's more like rewards for good work that I did, if it makes sense, but it's not a way for me to compensate on feeling that I lack inside. I think that's the big, big difference that you need to pay attention to. Um, what else? So yeah, so in your personal life, definitely, I mean, Pay attention to the way you live. Don't live like an idiot. With your business, I think, especially for most people who watch this channel at this stage who message me, your main focus should be going out there and bringing in more revenues and not worry too much on how to cut expenses. Yes, it's important that every expenses that you have in your business, obviously be smart about it. Don't be an idiot and, and pay extra two or three times on something, on some business expense where you know that somewhere else you can get it cheaper, right? Obviously, it depends on the quality and all that, right? But in general, your overall idea or focus in business should be going out there and getting more revenues. And if if you're not focusing on that, like if your focus isn't to go and bring in more revenues and more basically cash flow, then you won't have a business eventually. And remember that most of the businesses in the first five and then 10 years, like 99%, 90, 98, I think, the last time I saw the, the, the stats, percent of businesses fail in their first 10 years. And the main reason for a business to fail in their first 10 years is lack of cash flow. Like the only reason that you really need to shut down your business in the end of the day is lack of cash flow. And the only way to go and bring in cash flow is to bring in sales, to bring in revenues. Unless you have that as the fundamentals of your business, you don't have a business. So that's why I think that for most people that are watching this channel so far, and I'm talking people who even have a small seven-figure business, your main focus should go out there and bring in more revenues. And if that's not your focus, in my opinion, you're taking your time, you're not taking your time seriously. If you're trying to save 10 bucks here and there, it's just not the right way because your hour can be worth much more if you're going out there and produce revenues. You see what I mean? It just makes much more sense to go out there and bring another client or buy another business that's worth hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars in revenues that you bring when you buy a business or hundreds of thousands when you bring in a client or a joint venture partner or whatever you want to do with your business or whatever your model is. So... That, that's kind of like in a nutshell of how I see things with saving money, with going out there and what your focus should be. And that's pretty much summarized today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn how to grow your business by acquisitions or buy a, an existing business, I think, don't get me wrong, growing business organically is very, very good. My focus, at least at this stage with the channel, is how to grow by acquisition just because most people don't talk about it and I want to differentiate myself at this stage. But there are many good things that you can do organically as well, but it's not as fast as growing a business by acquisitions, by buying other businesses, or just by buying your first business if you just start. And again, there's nothing wrong with starting a business, but I wouldn't start a business unless you have a very unique idea and ideally some kind of unique technology. Otherwise, just go and buy one and buy a business in a sector that you're passionate about and ideally have experience and contact it. So if you want to learn more on how to, uh, I guess, figure out if that's that space is for you, go to moanapobert.com forward slash quiz. See the details there. We also have a free group on Facebook. You can see all the details there. Otherwise, yeah, um, subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. It really helps me with growing this channel. 
subscribe, uh, like, comment below and hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos because I'm posting daily. And yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.